Hello everyone, welcome back to our shop here in Springville, Utah. We're gonna dive right into the topic of today's video because it's kind of a long one. Our topic today is the great unboxing. you through the shipping process and what to expect when your trike finally arrives at your door in a giant box. Once your trike is built and has gone through all of our quality assurance checks, it's time to get it packaged up and send it on its way. Every trike is different, so our shipping crew has to build a custom box for each trike. This process is a bit tedious, but we take a lot of precautions so as to minimize any potential damage while your trike is in transit. A couple of things to note, smaller accessory items like spare tubes or tires, flags, tools, pumps, etc., are all things that will be placed into a cardboard insert within the box. If you have an electric assist trike, the batteries will not be installed on your trike. They'll be boxed up and placed into an insert as well. There will be a small bag taped on the inside of the box that contains paperwork, reflectors for your trike, owner's manuals, and a sheet with boom adjustment instructions. While we're on the subject of boom adjustment, let's go over that really quickly. We try to set the pedal length as close as we can to fit you using your X seam measurement. If you're not sure how to measure your X seam, click the link in the top right corner to watch our tutorial. Occasionally, we will have to push the boom on the trike in just a few inches in order to fit it into a box. If this is the case with your trike, we will write what mark you need to set the boom to on the boom adjustment instruction sheet. There will also be a paper notice taped to the boom of your trike letting you know that you'll need to adjust it to the mark specified on that same paper. If your trike model doesn't have an indexed boom, this is Azub, Ice, and Sunseeker models, we won't push the boom in. Instead, we'll use a longer pallet and build a box around your trike. Once your trike is ready to go, we'll schedule it for pickup with a freight carrier. When it gets picked up, we will receive tracking information, which we will then forward to you. If you're only half listening at this point, please pay attention to this next part. If you use the tracking number to try and track your shipment, it is going to give you an ETA. This is not the ETA for the trike arriving at your house. This is the ETA for your trike arriving at a shipping hub that is closest to you where they're going to arrange for final delivery. Freight shipping is not the same as parcel shipping. Delivery can take anywhere from six to 10 business days, sometimes upwards of two to three weeks during busy seasons. I know that's not what you guys wanna hear, but it's just the facts. Please allow time for your local hub to process your trike. When they are ready to deliver, they will call you to arrange a day and a time for delivery. When the day finally arrives and a large truck shows up with a very large box, there are a few things that we'd like for you to do. You're gonna wanna have a knife, scissors, and a multi-tool on hand. I'm gonna pass you guys over to Chandler. He's gonna show you the steps you need to take to make sure everything goes smoothly. Hey guys, it's Chandler, the lead mechanic from Utah Trikes. I'm gonna show you guys how to open up your trike. First thing you'll do when it arrives, check the, all the surroundings of the box for any damage. Take pictures and note it on your BOL if there is any damages before you sign for the delivery. Now we'll open up the box. So here's your trike inside the box. You have your trike and then we have this little cubby. This is where we'll keep all the small parts like your battery, any accessories that aren't installed, the paperwork here. Sometimes it'll be taped on the side. This one is in a box. And we also have, if your trike has a flag, it'll be taped here as well. The paperwork that you'll have with your trike is your order sheet that has your itemized list that's on your trike, as well as a boom adjust paper here 
This will explain if we have to push the boom in while shipping, how to adjust your boom back out and set your derailleur at the right angle. Also, we'll have your serial number. If you have a cat trike or another trike that has a numbered boom, we'll also put the boom adjust number on this paper as well. Now we're gonna pull out all the accessories. This one has a motor, so get your battery charging while you're assembling the rest of your trike. And now we're gonna lift the trike out of the box. So trike can be kind of heavy, so I recommend getting a friend to help you lift it out. I have my friend Jeremy here who's gonna help me lift it out. So now you have your trike out, we're gonna take the wrap off. This is just a basic example of how the wrapping is gonna be done. Your trike will probably have more wrapping on it. We have it color coded here so you only cut the colored zip ties. Any black zip ties that are on the frame, you do not wanna cut off. We have those in place for wrapping cables and wiring for the motor. So only cut the colored zip ties. Here on the boom, we have this warning as well that explains that you need to adjust your boom before riding just in case we've pushed it in for shipping. So now on this trike, as you can see, the boom has been pushed in and you can see by the angle of the derailleur, this is what we need to pull the boom back out and adjust to make sure that it's set up right. Now you can see that's a proper angle for the derailleur. We got to set up right. Now we're going to tighten up the bolts on the boom. And now we're going to adjust the handlebars and tighten those up as well. And also we got to adjust the seat and the headrest. And then we'll also adjust the headrest and tighten that down as well. So over here we have the battery box. In the battery box you'll have your battery, your charger, and a key also in the box. And now that your battery is charged, go ahead and install it on your trike. Put it on, lock it on, turn it on, turn on the motor, you're ready to ride. Now that you got your trike all ready to ride, double check in your box that you got all the parts out of it. As you can see here, we still got the flag in here. So this is a prime example, double check that you got everything out of it before you throw away the box. If you're waiting to receive your trike, we hope you feel a little bit more prepared for the process. If you're thinking of ordering a trike from us but have been concerned about the shipping process, I hope this video inspires some confidence in our team. As always, hit the thumbs up, Please subscribe to our channel so you can be the first to watch our latest content. We will see you in the next video. Pow! Hello friends and fans of Utah Trikes. You guys have an excellent opportunity to win this gift basket. That's right, there's all sorts of fun things in here. Trunk bag, trike cover, multi-tool, little headlight, tail light, water bottle. Lots of little fun things that you could win if you have the best decorated Christmas recumbent tricycle in the world. So decorate your trike up with your best Christmas spirit. Take a picture of it and send that picture to trikes at utahtrikes.com. We'll go through all of the photos and we will select a winner. The winner will be sent this delightful gift basket. So decorate your trike, send us a photo, win a gift basket. Pow. I just watched West Side Story, the new one. When you're a jet, you're a jet all the way. From your first cigarette to your last dying day. That was my favorite part of the whole song. When you're a jet, jet.
It was really good, by the way. I don't know if you guys care to hear my review of the new Steven Spielberg West Side Story film. Fabulous. It's fabulous. They did some rearranging, honestly, of the songs, but I actually, it was more emotional that way. Really enjoyed it. It's interesting because they really painted, they kind of painted Riff as kind of a bad guy, which I don't want to spoil anything. I'm sorry. I won't say anymore. Great film. Great film. If you like musicals. It's kind of funny to watch a bunch of guys who are supposed to be in this really terrifying gang walk around and be like, duh, 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 like floating, you know that move they do? Where they're just like, they're walking through the streets and then they're like, duh, you know, I can't do it. Cause you know, I, I never did musical theater. If I would have done musical theater though, I probably would have given 110%. Would have been pretty good at it. Maybe, I don't know, could have sucked. I can't sing, so. Anyway, okay, all right. Cut.